Bonjour tout le monde, bonjour tout le monde. Je vous invite à prendre place. Vous pouvez approcher, approcher. Please be seated. Come up on front. Mr. Yuping is very friendly. Don't be afraid. My name is Martin Bonneau, a veterinarian and also a member of the organizing committee for the pork show. I will be the moderator for the very first uh, conference within this uh, event called Pork Show. Um, to the first, uh, the very first conference held before the main event of the Pork Show. Uh, before going further, just sorry. We just want to, uh, avant de continuer, désolé. I have a hard time switching from French and English. Before going on, a few instructions, please turn off your cell phone. However, you can use your devices and uh, tweet, uh, use Twitter, Facebook. You have access to Wi-Fi. There's no password. Just uh, pick a video tron sans des congrès. Uh, for our conference, please be silent and turn off your devices. This conference will be in French and English. There will be simultaneous translation, channel one English, channel two French. If you have any questions at the end, there will be microphones in the room. Please go to a microphone, introduce yourself. For those who don't have any devices for simultaneous translation, they are available at the um, close to the uh, registration desk. We're happy to see you here for the pork show on uh, the uh, pork uh, design building. Mr. Ping will give a conference to share his, his uh, uh, profession. Mr. Ping is an engineer and also developed over the year construction design that is quite fascinating. The organizing uh, committee thought that it would be uh, relevant to have him here and talk about this type of building. Last year, there was one new building. Next year, one or two. Mr. Ping has five uh, building on the way and uh, some on the table. So we never know what can happen over a six month period. I know him personally for 10 years now. I'm very happy to introduce Mr. Ping. He's uh, the uh, uh, president of Tian Cao uh, Food Abattoir Breeding Joint Felchen. Uh, branch of Highlight Food for 10 years now. The business is a constant uh, expansion and has uh, uh, 60,000 souls in 17 provinces in China. P P Mr. Ping was the director of Chinese uh, businesses for Kimberly Clark, technical director for Pepsi Cola International, and also engineer responsible for China Civil Engineering Construction Corporation. Besides uh, managing all these businesses, he uh, chairs the China Animal Agriculture Association and the uh, China Livestock Engineering uh, Association. This is a key company in China, what we call uh, uh, Agriculture Dragon Hand Enterprise. He presents the U Design uh, Pork Designs close to the environment regulations and with a high level of biosafety. Please welcome Mr. Yu Ping. Okay, okay. Thank you, Martin. Thank you, everybody. It's nice to meet you here. Uh, I think it's somebody asking me, this is my first time to be, uh, to come to Kerbak. So I, I think I, maybe it's my first time because that was uh, 25 years ago. I have been in Canada many, many times and I forgot. So, <laughs> so anyway, so it's, um, it's, it's my pleasure uh, to introduce my design uh, of the band. And as uh, Martin introduced me, I think it's, uh, frankly, I've never been in a, in a farm to raise the pigs. I'm just a, a investor, entrepreneur for the pig. So it's uh, started from 12 years ago. So I'd like to share my experience 
uh, and to build the farms in China. Maybe some, some value for you or maybe not. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to start my, my presentation. Oh no, this one. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to talk about the challenge of the pig production in China. And secondly, I, from my standpoint of view, I'm going to compare the, the different building design of the barns in, in China and, and especially in North America. So, so last, I'm going to uh, talk my designs. Okay, the challenge of the pig production in China I think everybody knows that in, in China, we got uh, so many people and uh, so many pigs and uh, so many animals with very, very limited land. So it's uh, in total, the land, it's, uh, it's about the same size as Canada, but we, we, we don't have so many good land for, for people, for animals. So, so in general, it's very, very limited. So what, what, what is the challenge we got in China to build the farms first is environment protection. Okay, environment protection we're talking about here is, uh, I think it's now it's, uh, it, it, it comes to, now we have to, have to treat the odor, the smell, the strong smell, because we got so many neighbors around us. So I think eventually maybe we've got no choice to have to, have to treat it. Uh, and, and secondly, the manure treatment. But here you say in North America, you guys just the digging a big, big pool. You, you call it a lagoon, right? And, and they store it for the whole winter and use it once every year or twice every year. But in China, we we cannot do that because, again, because of labors. So we have to treat it. And secondly, the production cost. Of course, the production cost everybody faced. But the production cost here, I'm talking about, I've, you say, I, we faced in China, is bad security. So you guys talk about the feed, or you, you guys talk about the, 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 the labor cost and some other cost, I think, for in China, bad security. I think it's number one cost because they get so many diseases, so many diseases every year, I mean, every season. So that is why our efficiency is so low. And secondly, I think we face this energy supply and consumption. Our energy, I think it's uh, maybe, maybe, maybe twice, two times or three times higher the cost than you guys get here in, 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 in Canada. And also the supply in countryside, sometimes it's very, very difficult. We got the power, the electricity, the power supply. So that is something we have to face. The climate control. Here in Canada, you are very, very comfortable in summer, of course, in, in spring. Uh, and, 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 and all, 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 only the problem you got is in the winter. But in China, if we want to develop, you say our business in China, we have to face plus 40 degrees centigrade and minus 35, 40 degrees centigrade. So we, we, we have to manage it. Of course, efficiency, because of labor, we don't have so many skilled labor. So our efficiency, frankly, is quite low. And the construction cost, maybe the construction cost is, is lower than, than you guys here because the material is not, is not so expensive and labor is not so expensive, maybe our cost is, is lower. And the third, like I mentioned, the land is very, very limited. So I just give you guys an example. This is, uh, I, I built the, the, I think it's last year. It's in Sichuan area, south, southwest of China. Uh, we, we got uh, how many? Our province. 100, 100, 100 million people, you see, in the provinces. Uh, okay, only this farm, within 100 meters, we got uh, so many neighbors. And unfortunately, I got no choice to, to get uh, this land 
this land is much, much lower our labors. Our labor is there, our farm is here. So it's very, very challenging. So I built it, but uh, after about more than half years, we, we, we raise the pigs, nobody complain us. So I think we, we, we succeed to, 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 treat, to treat the orders. And the material treatment, the big tank, we are trying to, to get the gases. And on the right side, this tank, we are, we are trying to treat the solid manure in about 10 days, seven to 10 days. Immediately after we get, after we get it. The biosecurity we are talking about here, because like I said, we got so many animals, we got so, so much diseases, so, so many diseases, this is all over China. And I think we got all kind of disease in China. I think, I think maybe Martin, he's an expert. He can, he can, he can tell, tell you more about it. And so it's, uh, the bear security is very, very, and the, 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 the challenge for, for us. Like I mentioned, the energy supply, even though we got so many neighbors, so many people living around us, but our infrastructure, of course, some of you guys, maybe you, 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 you go to Shanghai, you go to Beijing, you say this is fantastic. But in the, in the, in the countryside, it's a different story. We, 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 we don't have enough power supply, even we don't have enough supply of waters. So we, we, have, to, we have to manage that. Like I mentioned, the climate control from, from the plus 40 to minus 40, the different area in the laws. I think like, 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 just like this farm, we finished last month, and now we fill up with, with, uh, with, with our goods. So now it's about minus 20. So it's going to be minus 40 in, a, in, in December and January. Okay, the land. This is my first first farm actually I built. But, okay, because the by 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 faces. Okay, the, the, the first part just behind of the pictures, I built it about ten years ago. So this small piece, small piece I built it, and it, and and the big one I built about five years four I think four five years ago. So you can see our labors, it's not not far from us. So so. It's, this is in the south of China, southwest of China. So different design. My, my, from my understanding, the Chinese traditional one, and I, I just I'm going to compare the Canadian one. Of course, it's a, it's it's a fast. Uh, we we they help us for to build up genetic basis, and then I'm talking about my design, my understanding, and my design. Okay, this is traditional Chinese one. It's still, I think, most of the farms in China still like this. And trust me. And uh, and uh, even some even smaller and even even poor. Okay, so here is a Canadian one. This is in Saskatoon, I think. Spearwood, yeah, Saskatoon the, the, from Fast. Actually, our uh, our first ten thousand first batch of the guilds we imported from this farm. That, that, that was about 10 years ago, 08. So, you, so you, you see, there's a big nagom eh, behind of the building. And uh, frankly, there's no labor there, but when the uh, first time I was there, I, I, I smell very, very strong smell. I think uh, five, three or five kilometers away, you, you, you know, where the farm is, <laughs> but but in China I don't think I can do this. And hey, yes, there is an lady. She came from the uh, yeah. She, she helped the cough call, right? I think it's uh, sorry to tell you that I think a cough call they got the farms in north of China. Nobody there, but now I think they are, they are in trouble with our farms. So it's because they they, they use the build a big lagoon, maybe it's even bigger than this one. So, so they, they call it by, by, uh, by the government. 
I think both they mostly close that very big farm and they have to be they have to close that again my design actually started from the original one like Chinese traditional one so even though I was a civil engineer I, I think I, you say I did some real estate I think I have rich experience with the construction I thought it was very easy to build a farm, but I, I was wrong. They uh, uh, say the farm I built 10 years ago, I rebuilt it, rebuilt it, and tear it down, rebuilt it built many, many times. And eventually, I say uh, that's, that is not right, so I have to do, to do that again. So this is version one and version two. So behind of the big building, it's, it's my version one, just like a Chinese traditional one, but need to be better. And, and the up front is a version two. So it take, it take me about 10 years to, to develop that. Okay, this is version three. I built it three years ago. So, okay, uh, even though it looks like the version two, but it's uh, in terms of the ventilation, it's different. So, so I, uh, yeah. I think there is a number you see on the left side corner, 20 acres. 20 acres, this one actually is a nuclear. It's about 1,200, we finish. And then next year, I'm, I'm going to build another multiplier, 2,800, with 20 acres now. And our labor, this one 100 meters. So, so, so for, from, from these farms. So here's the, the different side. Actually, th th this is a farm I, I finished uh, beginning of this year. Different side. It's, it's, it's in Sichuan area, southwest of China. This summer, it's 40, actually it's 42 degrees centigrade. So and we measured the temperature on the roofs. So it, it, it was about 70 degrees centigrades in the room. So it's very difficult to manage. And, and also the humidity, sometimes it goes up to 90%, or even, even 95. In summer, always is about 80%. It's really, really big challenge. But anyway, after we use my version four, I think the, even though I, the temperature will, I reduced down up to 20, uh, 26, 28, with, with, with airspeed in the, in the building, about 1.5 meters per, per second, I think the south still feel good. I, I mean, the, they can still eat the feed and they can, they can do it properly. On the right side, like I told, I told you, it's, it's north east of China, Heilongjiang. I think some of you maybe know something about China. I think it's Heilongjiang. It's minus 35. The extremely temperature is goes down to 40, minus 40s. Now it's minus 20. Now it's, I think it's work. It's work. Be, before that, we built the farms in the in north, in the um, Sanxi province. Still north, that's minus 25. Use my version two. It works. Version four, of course, it's, 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 it's better. So I'm, I'm going to show you guys some, some videos before I'm going to explain the details about the version four. So I'm, I'm going to forget about the version two, version three, and the version four, I think it's, uh, maybe it's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's more value for me to introduce to you guys. <laughs> I'll take six minutes to watch the video. So actually, I, I started to apply the pattern in North America too, North America, Europe, and, 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 and South Asia.
Okay, I think I'd like to explain a little bit more about this uh, by design. Okay, from the layout, I think uh, I'm trying to use, uh, you say, it's a combination of structure and process. So even though I did not write the pics by myself, but I think I, I, I lost so much money, I paid so much for, for, for that, so I have to understand the, what the pics needs how we're, we're going to manage it. So I'm trying to, to combine of structure and process. And by area, so we have to separate, because of biosecurity, we have to separate different areas we, 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 with the building, with structures, external, internal, quarantine, and production, and the environment protection area. So we, we have to strictly separate those areas. And the pigs, the people, the material, the trucks, and all those, all those things is not going to what it, cross contaminations. We have to avoid that. Even though we build it, the building in a very small land, uh, that, like, this, let's say like in rooms, if you have this solid walls, so what happens in the next rooms doesn't, doesn't matter. We are still here, we are safe. So this is my idea. It's not because of difference. We don't have distance to use. We don't have one kilometers, five kilometers to use. We only have 100 meters even this, so we have to use a wall, use a corridor, to close the corridor. So, 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 so that's, that is the layout. The building, I'm trying to standardize it because this building we build in a rural area, we cannot find such a qualified, even though China construction is so good, so terrific, and, and I think you understand in China, we build so much, but for the, for the, for the farm, because it's far from the, the city, it's very, very difficult to find the qualified con contractor to do it. So we have to standardize it, to do, to do a bit, synchronize it, standardize it, modernization. So also, I'm trying to use the lateral sources as much as possible, the lateral nights, the lateral inventation. So I'm, I'm trying to, even though it's big building, I don't like to just to use, use, use the electricity. Like, like I said, ele electricity is, is quite short in China. So I like to use, try to use natural nights with the nooms. You use the nooms and get a natural nights. So I fix it from south to north, from east to west. Every building I build is 100% natural nights. I'm trying to, to use this uh, natural ventilation because everybody low. So if there is a temperature difference inside and outside, the natural ventilation is going to happen for sure. There's, you don't need energy or electric to do that. So I'm trying to use this difference of temperature to get a natural ventilation. So eventually, I think at least I got about 50% of the year it's a large ventilation. And if, if the temperature is high, okay, the fans start up. So it's a, if, if it comes down, stop the, the, the large ventilation again. It doesn't matter if it's daytime or nighttime, it's summer, winter, or, or spring, doesn't matter. So I'm trying to use a large for the building. Okay, so it's a, so this, this the nuclear herd, I mean, is we have to raise the nursery pigs on the same side. We have to keep the gills and the boar we selected on the side. We have to test the gills and the boars. And then we can get, let's say, the, the tops, the replacement gills and the boars back to our herd. So it means we, can move, we cannot move the, the pigs out, then came back for the nuclear herd. So this is my design, design for nuclear herd. So this is south farm, nursery, 100% nursery, and only the selected gills and the boar stay. So, so this is my definition of the, of the nuclear herd design. So you see that on the, on the, on the uh, right side is 15, 15 acres. Actually, this is my standard requirements of the land, 15 acres. 15 acres, 15 acres, it's about 60,000 square meters of land. And the building is uh, 25,000 square meters in total.
Okay, actually, you, you, you can see this more clear. I think it's a sauban and, and the left side, sauban, you say lactation, gestation, and the both that and stuff living area. And, and, and in the middle is nursery. Actually, we use a batch following. So the batch following, it helps us to get all in and all out. Better biosecurity, better management. So two batch of a nursery you know what you know what one building and the right side is actually is a full batch of the gills and the balls so we select and the right side and the, and the below so we, we we are trying to make no liquid manure come out from the from the south farms only solid manure because we are trying to save the water I, i'm going to explain we're trying to save the water and also we are trying to use the solid manure that are going to produce the heat to steam the, what do you call it steam yeah steam the water then we can only have the solid there is no liquid because in china the liquid is there's nowhere to go the farmers don't like it and the people the small farmers they don't like it so for whole farms what we got it is pigs and the solid manure, that's it. We, 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 send, we, we send the feed in, we power the water and labor and anything. Only we get two products. One product is the pigs, another product is the solid manure, which we can, we can, we can sell some, some year. So this is 4,400 multiplier, 2,200 left side, 2,200 right side. So I think it's 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 a it's a it's a it's the same same design. Of course, the right side and the inner corner, we 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 got the board star and we we got it with replacement gills uh, quarantine area. So we we got a truck wash and and we got a, uh, you see it's a living area because in China everybody living on the farms, and we separate. So because of biosecurity, so we got no choice. Okay, here is a. Uh, the 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 map, no, the drawing, yeah. Uh, okay, this fifty thousand market hack per year. It's work together with multipliers. So it's um, in the middle. It's nursery, two batch of nursery, and and the left side two batch of finishing, right side two batch of finishing, six batches. So we we need two sides of this to to cooperate with uh, with four hundred four thousand multipliers. So it means three spots, 100,000 a year finish. Market hack, it's uh, 40, uh, 45 acres in total. Three spots, 45 acres. It, yeah, again, yeah, this is, okay, this is farmers finishing farm. So now in China, we do a lot with farmers because there are a lot of manure, and the manure has to go back to, to the field, okay? To, 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 to make it green. So it's, uh, as a company, we cannot do this. We, we have to let the farmer do as much as possible. So actually, this is 1,100. Uh, we got 1,100. 1, 1, I got another design, 2,200. And, and also, the another model is 4,400. 4, it's work together. We, 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 with our south farms. Okay, you see it's uh, actually the cool cell is in the middle, the wall is in the middle to separate two areas. So this is more clear, that's inside. Okay, here is the nursery. Actually, it's two batch. There should be the wall, you see, in the, in the middle. The partition you know, in the middle. Here, here is the finishing two batch. One batch, two batch. Batch one, batch two, eh? Okay. Okay, here is the inside, something inside. So, so look, look at the left side, it's a cool cell in the middle. So, actually, that would take the cool cell to have a longer lifetime. So the ventilation, I think, is is most important. The ventilation, I uh, use natural plus mechanic. If natural is is is, is not enough, then mechanic startup. 
the Coursera startup. The, so the cooling, cooling system we use underground tunnel plus air circulation plus the cool cells. And heating underground tunnel plus air circulation plus heat exchange plus extra heat sources. Of course, we like to use one, number one, number two, number this is sequence. So you see here, the natural. So it's because, because of the temperature difference inside and outside, it works, o always works. Of course, if temperature is the same, no natural. It's no need, no, no need to win the ventilation, right? So it always a difference inside and outside for sure. Can be never balanced by natural. So in summer, so we go through the tunnel. And of course, I think, I think from, as I think I special, I'd like to show you guys that. How I, I, I made it in a, in a 40 degree centigrade, because in, even in the summer, I'm trying to get the minimum airs into the norms. But of course, in the summer, because we need high speed of air circulation in the norms to try to, to, make, to, try to make the south feel good. Minimum air in, maximum speed inside, what can I do? Some air is coming back and mixed up here. Hot, this is 25, 26, here is 40. So let's say 70% back, 30% in. How much is that? That's about 33. So this 33 goes there, this cool cell, about six to eight degrees centigrade, so I get a 25 again. So always like that. So minimum air intake in summer. I don't know, I don't know somebody else uses that. I, I, I mean, I, I use it, I think it's, it's, it's good. Okay, here's the winter, the same philosophy. Minimum air in, and some airs come, comes in from room, mixed up here, minus 40, I make about minus 10 or minus five here, immediately. And it goes through a tunnel, goes up maybe to the zero. We got a heating system over there, then warm it up. And also, look at the pipes here. So, all the, the old, I mean, the, the, the air, the minimum air in the winter goes through the pipe out. A big pipe. I got several big pipes. So, the hot air through the pipe out, the cool air get in here. So, that's why I can take about at least 50% of the, of the head back to the looms. So for the south farm, for finishing, even minus 30, I don't think I need extra heat. Only, only, the, the, only the, the farming room and the nursery, I need some extra because it, it changes. Out or in or out, we have to, we have to heat it up. So look right here. There's a pipe, stainless steel, stainless steel. Okay, of course, this is a environment protection. I think it's, it's a simple, but maybe you guys, doesn't matter how, how, how much water you use, and, uh, but in China, I, uh, we are trying to save the water for, for, for the environment protection to save the water and to separate the dry and the wet manure and also the dead pig treatment. We, we don't have the space to just to just accumulate the dead pigs over there, a very strong smear. We have to treat it the same day and also because of biosecurities. We have to, we, we have to steam it same day and smash it and steam it. And the biogas, uh, we need the biogas for, for, the, for, the, for the energy. Okay, so here's, I think you, you, guys, you guys know better than, than I do. Okay, the left side is a gas, and in the middle is a separate liquid and, 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 uh, and a solid, 
and the right side is a solid. We are trying to, to finish the solid in seven days to make it a fertilizer. Okay, here's the dead pig treatment. So it's the first one, how we are going to get the dead pig, and you say same days, we get dead pigs, and we, we, we cut it, okay, in the machine, and we smash it, 120 degrees, 100, 120 degrees centigrade for, for two hours, then inside of the machine, in 40, 48 hours, we got the right side one. So I think we cured all bacteria and, and, and some all the diseases. Okay, this is, I show you first, uh, the first one. And uh, energy consumption, okay, here is just gave you some ideas. The natural sunshine all year round and the natural ventilation for about five months. Accumulation, okay, accumulating. So depression is about 40, uh, 65 RMB per head for finishing. You say for, for everything. The land, three pieces of land, each of uh, 15 acres. Okay, the construction cost is for one saw, you say two when per saw. I think it's, yeah, 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 10,000 RMB per, per saw. And 600 RMB per nursery space and 1,200 for finishing space. So actually, as you said, look at it in China. From this to there, it's about four or 5,000 kilometers. And we are here. This is my headquarters. We are, we are here. This is about 4,000. This is about four or 5,000. This is uh, here, here is minus 40. Here is minus 30. Here is minus, minus 10. And then here is, is plus 40. So all the area. So, so we, we actually, Tianzhou, we got the, the, the multipliers and also the GGP, GP, GGP. We only produce uh, uh, GP and F1. So we got so many provinces. This is our farm there, there, our farm there. So it's almost all China. Okay, this is my pattern. It's in China. I think in maybe next year I can get this certificate in North America. Okay, I think next year there will be, there will be a big event in Chongqing, my hometown, my office. That's IPVS 25th. So you guys are welcome to come to Chongqing and to come to my office. And I'd like to invite you guys to eat Chinese food. And <laughs> very hot. <laughs> and to wisdom these farms. It's about, it's about 100 kilometers away from the, uh, from the, the, the conference. So actually, I'm, uh, they, they, they asked me to organize about 500 foreigners to visit this one. I hope some of you guys will be one of the 500. And also, I'm going to invite, you say this, uh, the guy from all over the world for, for hot pot, you say, on the, on the, the ship, yeah. Uh, on the boat, on the boat. No, sorry, on the boat. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you. So it's, yeah? Okay. You can stay here. Okay. Do you imagine that you Probably you have a few questions. <laughs> <laughs> you did very well. Any questions? Would you have any questions? Uh, there are people here with the microphones. Raise your hand. Uh, Yuping, so your 4.0 design will be, you think that type of barn could be built in North America? In Canada, US? For sure. So have you tried to understand the cost? Because your cost is not very high if you put Canadian dollar in terms of the cost, do you think the labor is so cheap in China that's why the cost is low? In North America, do you think the cost would be so high that nobody will be able to build such farm? I, I think it's, uh, it's not because of the cost of uh, labor and material. It's, it's because of the cost of the, how you design it. 
how you simplify it, how you, how you can save the, those you say, spaces. So you, you only need the space. I mean, you, you don't need the extra. So we are trying, actually, my design is trying to limit it. OK, whatever the, the pigs needs, we are going to meet their demands. For the rest of it, we don't need it, even one square meters. So actually, I save money from that. This, this is number one. Number two, you say I'm tra trying to save money from the construction. How you construct it? Just like here. So because of the ice, you have to dig in about two meters, right? But for me, I don't need it. I just shower it and build it. And I then get the soil back around the buildings. I can even make some, you say, cover, you say, around the building of the soils. I can insulate it. So I solved that purpose. So it's, it's, it will be simpler. And also because you guys here, you build a very big, you say, big tank under this of, of the building. Sorry, I, I think I don't like that. You have the material for the whole winters. You get the, 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 the all those every day, very strong. You have to use the fresh air, you say, in, to, t to take fresh air in to take this out. That costs a lot, a lot of energy. You see, my idea is just like a human being, better use the toilet. As I use it, you need to take it out. I will treat it outside of the building, not inside of the building. That, that, that really makes sense, I think. Thank you. S'il vous plaît, présentez-vous avant de. Please introduce yourself. Mon groupe serait ce d'un gros troupeau de même le SRP. You got. I, 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 I do get it. Oh, <laughs> where is your translation equipment? I, uh, he was asking, well, do you, he was asking <laughs> about the. Uh, Purse yeah, presence in the, your herds. The purse status of the farms in China. Oh, my. We, we got to ever do this. <laughs> TROA, PED. <laughs> Maybe I can. OK. Yeah, come in. yeah you, you, you come in. <laughs> C'est une très bonne idée des statuts des fermes. En Chine. Yeah. In uh, China, uh, they don't produce negative. Uh, animals, they manage health, they produce healthy uh, animals. There are some diseases, many diseases, but uh, they all the diseases need to be absent, no infections. It is controlled, so they use vaccines for all diseases maybe you heard about. And the uh, uh, PRS, uh, and all the diseases in, in China. I don't know what, what, what you said. I think I'd like to comment <laughs> on that. You said Tianzhou last year, overall in China, so it's, uh, our cost for veterinary is about 40 RMB per pigs we produce. So we are only half of the best, like Wens, Mu Yuan, those best guy spent because we did a better job for biosecurities. Maybe that's not, that's not, that's not only because of the building and also, we, and oh, but of course, because of Martin here for us <laughs> for about 10 years. So I don't know how much it costs here in Canada for, for, for finishing pigs, yeah, for, for, you say everything, including the you know, finishing pigs. But last year it's a 40 RMB. How much is that? Eight Canadian, seven, eight Canadian. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Still about Fair to finish. Wait, <laughs> an instant. Dora Rodriguez from Jeffo Nutrition Inc. Uh, thank you very much for your presentation. It was very impressive. And actually, I like very much the title of your design, Use Design 4.0. So when I read 4.0, I think about automati automatization, oh, data okay. analysis. I wonder. Uh, the level of automatization of your design. Okay, uh, it's originally I copied that ideas. I copied that idea. But anyway, because like I said, I started from the one, version one, version two, version three. Actually, 
this, this is t totally different from one, two, three. So this is sequence. I use the version four. And of course, when, when I design this, I consider, even though the automation is not so high in my buildings, but it's now I already considered there is a space I know we are going to do it for the automations. So it's uh, maybe the, the, the gesto guy is going to help me, right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, when, when, when that, uh, as you know my background, because I work for Pepsi and Company Car, I understand the other industries' design of the building. So I'm trying to use their philosophy ideas into, 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 our, soft, into our farms. So it's, I, I consider that. So hopefully in the next two or three years, if you come to China, you will see some automations, eh? more automations. Yeah, thank you. Did I answer you, your question? Est-ce qu'il a répondu à votre question? Did he answer? Yeah. Okay. D'autres questions? Any more questions? about uh, snow accumulating in the winter. Do you have a lot of uh, uh, snow? Do they have to plow the uh, rooftops? Re snow removal, what about snow? No, we have in Quebec. Uh -huh. And what do you do in China with snow? Okay, the snow, actually as an engineer, the snow, it's, uh, it's just, a, just a strength of the structures, no more than that. And, and, and because even though you see this big building, but I, I build it differently because I use more columns. Every 7.2 meters, one columns. So it makes structures very strong. So, so because normal, uh, not normally, it always, we have the regulation, we, we, have, we have the specification for each area, the earthquake, the wind, the snow, we just follow it. It doesn't matter where we go. We just follow it. Then you design the structures. There's no difference. Just follow those specifications. You ping in question about snow. What's the amount of snow that you have, the highest level of snow you can have in China? Oh, maybe the same like your, like your area. Oh, yeah. area. Couple meters? Yeah, couple meters. Couple meters, yeah. Une question ici. Ce sera pas long. Un petit peu. Pour le... For the animal well-being, we have to change our buildings. We'll, we'll do that soon. Are there any standards coming up in China? Or is it the way it is here currently? Mm -hmm. Are you considering doing something about that? And yes, we just talked about yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I think it's, uh, it's, it's not only animal welfare, but I found it, okay, we can, we can use this space more efficiently. Why not? And we, we, even we can save some, 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 cons, uh, some cost of the equipment. Of course, depends on your price, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm seriously. I, I, even though we don't have rules about that, I think we're going to do it. It's not, it's not because of welfare, the animal welfare, it's because of, uh, it's also because of the efficiency, this, uh, and, 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 and uh, I think the cost. And you think there's no norms or no uh, code of practice in China regarding not welfare? Yet. Not yet. So there's no code of practice in China for the moment. There are no uh, codes or specifications for animal welfare. It's more about efficiency in the construction. Ten years, I don't. Yeah, might be no more than ten years. I think we'll be there. Thanks for question. Arrière, deuxième. Sébastien. Sandra Sanson pour Conception Romain. Sandra Sanson. Works in this barn. Okay, actually, our efficiency in terms of people, 2,200 is about 10 for the software. And nursery is about two, two to 3,000 per person, and finishing about the same. 
But for original one, it's only maybe it's 30 or 20 percent of it efficiency. Thank you, Yuping. Uh, what's the percentage of the time when you have uh, where you have uh, your ventilation working mechanically in a year? Could you could you tell uh, that uh, it's so many percent natural and uh, what's the percentage? Is is it? Okay, I think it's uh, mostly in summer. I think it's uh, the daytime. You see, in summer it's quite hot. I think it's from the June, July, August. So it's it's hundred percent. I think we have to use mechanic. So you, you, even in the nights, it's still warm. It's still you see very high. We have to use it four months, three or four months. And in the winter, even though you use them, even though we use a mechanic, just start up. You start up off, on off, on off, on off like that. And the spring, and 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 uh, and, uh, and some other. Uh, you say the, the the weather is good around twenty. Let's say the temperature around five minus five, or even minus ten, to up to fifteen. We didn't. We didn't only the uh, mechanic. But of course, sometimes there's big sunshine and the warm. It's get warmer. They start up. That's it. Just very short time period. It's there. Because we use it, we use the temperature as a factor to to manage this this this, this fan. If it's high, start up. If it's low, stop. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Donc on va mettre fin à la période des questions. We will end the question period for today. You are invited uh, uh, tomorrow. Yupin will be doing an, another presentation, a 45-minute presentation on uh, the China experience. So you're invited uh, tomorrow. I think uh, that you will enjoy his uh, uh, presentation on China. So you are warmly invited tomorrow. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Oui, désolé. Oui, c'est C'est Oui, S'il vous plaît, tout le monde. Oh, mon Dieu, ça, ça va, ouais. Chut, ça sera pas très long, juste les petites consignes pour que le, le, le reste de la soirée se poursuive bien. Donc, en sortant... A, a few instructions on your way out. Thank you. So... For the rest of the day, this is the opening of evening. Thank you for your, uh, listening to this uh, conference and presentation. Now this is the opening event. We have exhibitors. 65 exhibitors are waiting for you. Thanks to our uh, sponsors, uh, Banque Nationale, CSN, and Natalicio. CYCSN, this is the Slaughterhouse uh, Employees uh, Union. And so after the evening from 5 to 7.30, after you're invited to go among yourself, uh, clients, providers to our partner restaurants, you have the list. These are the 10 restaurants around uh, the uh, convention center. Please encourage uh, these people if you go and have a meal. Uh, they have the menu with the Quebec uh, pork. Tomorrow, uh, tomorrow, 7.30, uh, registration, you're probably registered. And uh, 7.30 to 9, please come and join us and see the exhibitors. When I will end, I'll tell you how it works for today. 9.15, Mr. Raymond Bachon, Hooping is back. And then we have Alain Dumas just before lunch. And then we cross to lunch. This year, we have a partnership with the Table des Chefs, and Mr. Ricardo, a chef, he will be making a presentation. He's a spokesperson, developed the concept, and uh, uh, instead of, uh, we think that uh, we will be having the greater spaghetti lunch uh, in the country, and we will give uh, $10 for each uh, uh, participant. 
be there for lunch. Then workshops in the uh, afternoon, animal well-being, management, health, and also marketing here. So I think that you uh, saw the program in the brochure. We will end the day with the recognition awards and the last conference of the day, and then there will be a cocktail, and then we will cross uh, to uh, the evening. Those who are used to our activities, uh, this was held at the Hilton this year. It will be in the uh, conference room. You'll see it will be held there, and this year again, we had a contact with the students at ITHQ, so six uh, students who had the highest score at the autumn session ITSQ with the Port de Quebec. And so you will be able to taste all the different products. At the end, please go out through the left, go through the uh, stands, go there, and you will have a ticket for a cocktail, and then uh, visit uh, the uh, sponsors. Uh, the, it's not a meal, it's just a cocktail. I'd like to mention uh, th something. Each, every, year, every year we say, oh, maybe there might be uh, contesters or demonstrators. We uh, saw three or four of them. Yes, we did. We saw three or four people demonstrating and uh, talking about bacon. And But as a participant, never confront these people. It's useless to start discussing and arguing with these people because if something happened, but they're out, they left. But just a little instruction, the best thing we can say, will just do your own thing and walk away. Thanks to all of you. Have a very good evening. Have fun. So go left. And Mr. Yuping will be there. If you have any question, he will be available. Thank you. Merci à Marseille.